A new music video drop is already a monumental moment for music lovers. And on the rare occasion, there's the added element of surprise when a familiar face just appears. So we're breaking down some of the most unforgettable music video cameos over the years. The latest celeb cameo in a music video that is probably burning red in your mind is Taylor Swift's hand-chosen selection of known Swifties, Sadie Sink and Dylan O'Brien, who starred in her anticipated short film for the 10-minute version of All Too Well. Taylor announced the news just a week prior to the short film's release, completely shocking fans to their core, as many couldn't help but wonder how the connection between Sadie and Dylan would pan out especially considering their age difference of 11 years, which is representative of Taylor's nine-year age difference from the subject of the song, Jake Gyllenhaal. Taylor dished about her casting decision during the premiere of All Too Well in New York, the night it aired for the world, explaining that she didn't have backups in mind, and thankfully, when asking them about joining the cast, Dylan gushed, oh, it wasn't even a question. And not only was Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion's smash hit WAP more talked about than COVID in 2020, but it was Kylie Jenner's surprise, sultry cameo that stunned fans, maybe even more than the song's explicit lyrics. While Cardi and Megan strutted around a mansion filled with snakes and live jungle cats, Kylie literally stopped the song in a dramatic runway walk through a hallway wearing a cheetah print bodysuit and matching cape. Cardi opened up about Kylie's random cameo as a public outcry from fans petitioned to have her removed from the video, tweeting, Why did I put Kylie on my music video? She treated my sister and daughter so lovely at her kid's birthday party. Also noting that Kris Jenner has given her advice on occasion. Speaking of the Car Jenners, Kim Kardashian's 2007 music video cameo might be a forgettable one, but surely it was shocking nonetheless. But before you assume we're talking about her jam, turn it up, you might recall an even more shocking cameo in Fall Out Boy's smash hit, Thanks for the Memories. This one is an oldie but a goodie and features a young Kimmy many moons ago who stars as Pete Wentz's love interest and the two even lock lips at one point, causing a whole lot of monkey business. Pete recently opened up about Kim's cameo in a full circle moment, telling his new Lou and Sad radio show, it's so interesting when you look back on that moment and you're like, this is the last moment Fall Out Boy interacted in public with Kim Kardashian, where we had the same amount of fame as her, adding, it's funny when you look back at this stuff. Pete naturally ended his statement by saying, thanks for the memories, Kim. Camila Cabello's 2017 Telenova-inspired Havana music video drew massive amounts of praise from fans, even scoring the coveted VMA Video of the Year in 2018. But Camila may have to give credit where credit is due and give a nod to Noah Centineo. After finding out about the opportunity during his time on The Fosters just a week after his sister played him the track, Noah jumped at the opportunity. He gushed about working with Camila, telling BuzzFeed, she is the kindest, sweetest, most energetic, tiniest little person that I've ever met. And we had an amazing time. We danced and we laughed and we talked and got to know each other. It was a lovely experience. Noah also dished that Camila told him how he came to be chosen for the role, recalling what she told him saying, they showed me a few pictures of options and you just seemed like the right one. It was incredible, serendipity. But there is truly no amount of envy that comes close to watching Beyonce's all-night music video from her Lemonade visual album. If you watch closely, you'll be able to spot fellow icon Zendaya sitting alongside B, as well as Amanda Stenberg and Chloe and Hallie on the front porch as she described the cameo as incredible. During an appearance on Good Morning America after the video's release, Z explained, It was a really powerful moment and I feel like I was part of music history and shared a screenshot of the surreal moment to Instagram writing, One of the most beautiful things I've ever had the honor of being a part of. Black girl magic. 
And finally, before Megan Fox starred alongside her twin flame machine gun Kelly in his music video for Bloody Valentine, she was caught up in another brutal love story in Rihanna and Eminem's 2010 music video for Love The Way You Lie. Megan and her co-star Dominic Monaghan portray a fiery love built on passion, anger, beauty and ultimately breakdown, which Dominic explained is based on Eminem's relationship with his twice ex-wife, Kim. Upon the video's release, Dominic was asked by outlets what it was like kissing THE Megan Fox, who was married to Brian Austin Green at the time, and he responded exactly how a respectful king would. He told MTV News, it's fine, it's work, she's married. I have a lot of respect for marriage. Adding that to avoid any awkwardness prior to filming, he told her, look, I know that you're married and I don't wanna do anything inappropriate. And she said, it's all kind of inappropriate, huh? One thing's for sure, there was certainly no lying in this reaction. And for the juiciest Easter eggs in Taylor Swift's all too well short film, Click right over here for the full rundown. After that, let me know which celebrity cameo in a music video you are most surprised to see in the comments section below. I'm your girl, Susan Morad. You can find me on socials at Susan underscore Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.